Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. When you're browsing the internet and you get to a certain website, you might see this come up in the top left hand corner of the screen saying the website wants to show notifications. Now, do you allow it or do you block it? Now, the notifications will come up in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Now, if you'd like that particular website, to show you notifications, then you can click on allow. Now, in this case, this is a newspaper's website. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna show us notifications in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen about headlines, I suppose, and, and news stories it thinks we might be interested in. But some people have found that this is a pain in the backside because they just keep popping up all the time. So if you don't want notifications to come up, then click on block. If you do want notifications to come up, then click on allow from that particular website. So this is the type of notification that pops up and it did make a, a chime sound as well when it popped up. So if you're not happy with having these particular pop-ups coming up in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Now, how do you turn them off? So first of all, you click on the three dots in the top right hand corner of the screen and then go down to settings. And then what we need to do is we need to go to privacy and security there. And then we go to site settings. Now, as you can see here, under recent activity, we've got all these websites that are allowed to send us these notifications just here. So this one's from the Daily Mail, for instance. And I think to myself, I really don't want notifications from the Daily Mail. So I just click there on Daily Mail and then let's just get rid of this notification because it's in the way. Go down to notifications and as you can see there, it's got allow. So we can either say ask if we want it to send notifications or we can block. Now, if we block, that means we won't get bothered at all by the dailymail.co.uk. Now, if we wanna go a step further and stop notifications from other senders, then we can just go to everything here that's got allowed notifications and just do the same thing. We can click on that there and then go to notifications and just go to block. So, and we just keep doing that. Now, if we wanna stop all notifications in future, just scroll a bit further down, go to notifications there. And what we wanna do is we wanna select this don't allow sites to send notifications. So basically that should stop all websites from sending notifications. But as a good measure, like I say, I would also make sure that you go to this section here, to, to the list here under recent activity and make sure you block all the notifications for each website there. So there you go, that guide showed you how to handle notifications that come up in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and what that message asking you do you want to allow notifications is that comes up in the top left hand corner of the screen. Hope this guide helps and thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech, that's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.